guess what I found? Another old comic! Despite what people might think, the first s &T comic wasn't my very first comic ever. I liked making comics even before I thought up s &T. In fact, I think I may have found my very first finished Sonic comic. And it's about Big the Cat. Well, actually, it's mostly about Froggy, but we'll get to that. Even though back in the day the Sonic fandom had a rabid hatred for Big the Cat, I actually liked him as a kid. I thought he was just a lovable oaf, much like Ed from Ed, Ed and Nettie. I actually drew him pretty often. Here he is in this collection of scenes I wrote about Sonic characters working at Sonic the Restaurant. As you can see, he is Employee of the Month, because Big is a good boy. Anyway, this comic is a spy thriller about how Big's friend slash pet Froggy leads a double life, sneaking away when there's trouble to save the day. Rereading it now, it's just a fun little romp that's definitely not as cringeworthy as the s &T comics. Actually, there is one thing that's really cringy about this Froggy comic. It's title. Brace yourself. Froggy style. Froggy style. Before you ask, yes, it is supposed to be a pun of the phrase doggy style. And no, Kid Me had no idea what doggy style even was. She most likely heard it in passing without any context, and then when it came to naming a comic about Froggy, she thought, Hey, doggy style is a thing people say. Let's name this comic Froggy style because it's funny. <coughs> anyway, the art. I definitely took a lot of liberties with Froggy's character design. He's a lot more kawaii than usual. And Big, well, he looks alright, save for his extra large head and Lego hands. Also, yes, this comic is colorless. We'll just have to deal with that. Now, normally I would interrupt the flow of the comic to add in some commentary, but since this comic is on the short side, I have decided against doing that this time. We'll just let this comic speak for itself. Well, let's make like Froggy and hop on in! <laughs> I'll see myself out. We find Big and Froggy napping. <laughs> Ribbit! <laughs> I didn't do it! Looks like Sonic is in Eggman's base again. Ribbit! Ribbit? Hey! Let go! Froggy, no! Ribbit! Come back! Ribbit! Ribbit! The door opened. Good job, Froggy. Ribbit! Ribbit? Ah, hey, you're crushing my foot! Sonic is still in danger. Go, Froggy, go! Ribbit! Ribbit! Ooh, the fuse box. Good thinking, Froggy. Ribbit! Eggman's lab. Hey! The power went out! Aw, oh, nuts. Ow! Hey! Ow! That hurts! Ouch! Hmm. Oh, where's Froggy? Froggy! Ribbit! You had me worried there, little fella. Hey, the alarm in Eggman's base stopped. Ribbit! Let's get back to napping. Good night, Froggy. So, just to recap, Froggy in this comic is not only super intelligent, he also has psychic powers and the ability to break the fourth wall. Also, it was not the best idea for Eggman to link all of his power to one random fuse box in a hallway. And once again, I made Sonic pretty useless just to make the main character look good. I sure love to do that. But overall, it's just a silly comic with an unfortunate name. 
You can at least give young me some credit. At least it's creative. Well, I hope you enjoyed yet another look into my past. See you later!